Welcome, one and all, to Gintama 355. So, we got Gengai still captured by the Yato. We got Takasugi and the Kiheitai here helping out now. Who knows how many other characters can show up. I'm excited to get into it in 3, 2, 1, play. Are they going to find Gengai? Trail of poop didn't work. Trail of blood didn't work. We got our flashbacks last time. Probably don't need any more for the time being, so we'll probably stay focused in the present. What is going to happen with those, though? We're working on stopping the laser, but we also can't let the nanomachines get negated. All right. No opening? Did we get a recap instead of an opening? You never know. The opening could happen at any time. The opening could happen at the end. Kagura had an idea of where to go, but... Still not there yet. Maybe you can just go by yourself. I hope she'd be okay, but... Oh, uh, we got a meteor coming in! Oh, well, shit. Okay, we do get the opening. Okay. Well then. Minute and a half recap. 30 seconds of new stuff. Minute and a half opening. Feels like I'm watching something on actual TV. Or you get to watch the show for two minutes, then you get five minutes of commercials, and five minutes of commercials again, and... Oh well, we'll get there. Kagura's off on her own. Uh, good luck. I don't think there's going to be like some kind of crazy reveal with the one dude in the hood with the glowing red eyes. I just kind of want to see his face, just out of curiosity. It's no Samurai Heart, but thanks, Spy Air, for coming back again. I can see myself listening to this on its own. That's pretty good. Very short, you know, OP version. I'd kind of like to hear the full version. All right, so uh, how you dealing with that? No, it's not over. Yeah, obviously it wasn't the big boy. It wasn't the big attack. I think that's clear.
I wonder if he's bullshitting them. Yeah, exactly. There's no way. Hmm, well, okay, we'll see. Maybe Gengai decided this was just their best chance. You can't say that yet. Well, shit. That's more a little along the lines of what I expected. Perfect timing for her, too. All right, Kagura surrounded by Yato. Got to protect Gengai. Here we go. He's so tiny. Oh, she is. They were giving them the stink eye before, that's for sure, but that doesn't matter. Oh! Daddy? Did he punch that guy's head off? Kicked his head off. Is that daddy or brother? I think it's big bro. Yep. Holy, did he kick that guy's head off? I couldn't, if, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I, maybe not, I don't think so, but it kind of looked like it at the time. <laughs> Be cool to see Kagura take on all these guys, but it's a lot. And she's already been doing a lot of fighting. So, this is appropriate. Turns out the guy in the hood is their mother. Dun, dun, dun. No, obviously not. But now we got rabbits leaping on moonlit nights. Oh, Abuto is here too. Now we just gotta wait for Umi Bozu. Eventually? He could already be here. Lurking in the shadows somewhere, but I'm sure he'll have a heroic entrance later. Nice. It's not just... <laughs> I mean, just Kagura and Kamui alone. I was like, okay, cool, yeah. Fight them all. But now we got whole ass unit, so... Yeah, fuck you guys. Nice. He's back. So is he. Two of the three. I was, I was hoping. I was hoping to see them again, but I wasn't getting my hopes up. But I'm glad they came back. Mr. Hacker Man doesn't get to, but those two are good. They're still around. That's cool. Where's... Pakuyasa. Also, Kurokono Tasuke. He needs to come in and make the, the game-winning basket. Also, Black 
Gentoki. Or Sorachi himself, the gorilla. If you just had, like, Gorilla Sorachi show up and just, like, erase Utsuro with a literal eraser, and that's how you win, because he's the author and he can do that, uh, I'd be fine with that. I just, I deleted him out of the story, and so they win. That's fine. Everybody remains stupid. It's just in what exact way they're stupid. So that's what that was. Crashing down. Good job, Gintoki. Sounds about right to me. You guys, you know, come up with whatever excuses you need to to get yourself to help. Okay, you're here, you're helping out. Well, too bad. Oh, okay. What's, what's your deal? What's your issue? Whoa! He's a buff boy. What's... Oh, he's getting... He was a little man. He's getting bigger. What's so special about you? Whoa, he is big. What, what's up with your fucking face? Did he turn young? Was he old? I don't know. He got bigger, but... <laughs> I guess he was old. Good for him. Okay. I didn't expect that level of strength. Holy shit, we, we might really need the brother-sister combo. What? Are they- they look shot- Whoa! He's little again! Oh, damn. Ugh. I- oh, that's crazy. It's like in One Piece when Chopper would turn into, like, Brain Point to escape an attack, change his size, but this guy can do it so precisely. Okay, fight each other a little bit in the middle of this. There's no time for that. God damn. Yeah, he can just adjust his body completely. Ah, <laughs> let it go. You don't have time to be fighting each other. They're not even paying him attention anymore. He was really intimidating. It's like, oh shit, this guy's a threat. And now they've just, <laughs> they're ignoring him. Yeah, they literally... Uh, how did you even... I don't know how you... Okay.
this guy's no big deal. Maybe they're just more interested in fighting each other than they are in fighting this guy. Is he just standing around letting them do the- Oh, nope, he, he went for the attack. Damn, he can... Bring out the veins. Nice, whoa. Use him to attack your brother if you must. Yeah, they are. A lot. <laughs> You're getting no respect. <laughs> For like a 20, 30 second window, I was like, oh, this, guy's, this guy could be a serious threat. And now it's like, nah, <laughs> don't respect him at all. <laughs> Which works well enough for these two. And for this random guy, it's like, yeah, you don't, you don't need to really give a shit about him. Oh my god. They're pinballing him around. No, they don't give a shit about you. What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck? What just happened? He wrapped himself in it. What the hell did that turn into? What the... That, this is the weirdest fight of all time. What the shit? <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's his penis. Sorry, centuries-old Qigong master. <laughs> he went soft. So the rest of this should be no problem. Still, still going at it? All right, that's enough, thank you. They did fight. It was short but sweet. Manaka? What is that? The rematch flags. They're all over the place, but we have other things we have to get around to. Although it is Gintama. You could always just waste time, you know, doing whatever you want on the side. Okay. Oh, shit. My God. Okay, if you want to have your little rematch, your little spat, go for it. 
Not quite. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being focused a little bit. Which one's the craziest and which one's the stupidest? I assume Kamui's the crazy one. Uh... Reinforcements for the enemy. Well... Sure is. Oh shit, he's here himself. That's a problem. It's been a little messy. Whoa. Get out of there. This is going to speed things up. This adds much more of a ticking clock element. Gonna have to bring in the Monk Sisters for this. Alright, yeah, that's that's definitely the the fight getting near entering its endgame. You know, we still got a ways to go, but we're, pro we're making progress. That fight with 200-year-old shape-shifting Yato Man. Certainly unique. <laughs> So yeah, they're showing different scenes throughout the series during these endings. Okay. Oh, it's Arrow Mesh, and Pachi punched her in the face. That was funny. Um, I feel like... Oh, that was the Neo Jet whatever whatever episode. Yeah. Um, and the Umibozu. I feel like... I'm, watch, I'm just kind of watching Gintama over here. I feel like I would have liked that if it was just a serious fight. Like, if you just went all out, made it serious, those two going in. The Gintoki baby! I forgot about the baby. Yeah. But if you just made it those two going in against this real big tough guy, could have been really cool. But so be it. It worked well enough. Them having this weird relationship. Uh, his penis wrapping... Certainly bizarre, so it's fine. I just feel like it had the potential to be something really badass, but it went a comedic route, and that's cool, too. It happens. All right, that is it for this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.